Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're looking to improve the Wi-Fi connection on your PC or laptop, boost your Wi-Fi speed, or fix common Wi-Fi issues, this video is for you. Make sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss any steps. Alright, the first thing you need to do is right-click on the Windows Start icon and select Run. In the Run dialog box, type ncpa.cpl and click on OK button. That's going to open up a new window where we can improve our Wi-Fi settings. Now, look for your Wi-Fi connection, here's mine right here. Select your Wi-Fi connection and right-click on it, and then go to Properties. By the way, this works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 system, so no worries there. Once you're in Properties, go ahead and double-click on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. That'll open up another window. Here we're going to set a custom DNS, so select use the following DNS server addresses. For example, you can use Cloudflare's DNS by typing 1.1.1.1 as the preferred, and for the alternate DNS address, you can use Google's DNS, that's 8.8.8.8. Both DNS addresses will work really well. After you've entered that, just click OK, and then again, click OK to close the window. DNS plays a very important role in your internet speed and how quickly websites load. It translates website names into their actual addresses. By using a faster DNS, you can improve your internet speed and make your overall connection more reliable. Next, let's configure the wireless adapter settings. Just right-click on your Wi-Fi adapter again, go to Properties, and this time click on the Configure button right at the top. Once you do that, you'll see the wireless adapter properties. Now, I'm using an Intel wireless AC adapter here, but don't worry, if you're using another Intel adapter, you should still see a very similar window. Next, we'll go into the Advanced tab. There are a few settings here that really matter for your Wi-Fi performance. The first one we're looking at is Fat Channel Intolerant. Make sure this is set to Disabled. Disabling it helps give you a more stable and faster connection. Now, scroll down to Preferred Band. If your router supports 5 GHz, select that option. The 5 GHz band is much faster and more reliable compared to 2.4 GHz, so definitely use it if available. After that, there's an option called Roaming Aggressiveness. I've kept mine on medium since my Wi-Fi router is nearby and the signal's already strong and I don't want my adapter constantly trying to switch between networks. Medium aggressiveness usually means more stability and better speed, especially if your router is close by, like within 5 to 10 meters of your laptop. If your router is a bit farther away, you can experiment with medium high or highest. Next is channel width. For both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, just set it to auto. That way, your adapter can automatically choose the best channel width for performance. But again, if you have the option, stick to 5 GHz. It's the best option for faster speeds. Next, look for the wireless mode option at the top of the window. Go ahead and change it to the last available option you see. And if your adapter supports dual band, make sure to select that. Once you've applied these changes, click the OK button and restart your computer. After the restart, you should notice improved Wi-Fi performance and stronger connectivity. And that's it. Test your internet speed and see how well your signal strength is with your router. Drop a comment below and let me know how much of a difference it made for you. And of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tips and solutions.